Paul Garrick played it safe for himself while he guaranteed his wife's death. He led her down to 60 feet, to a place near the underwater current, to a place where if she were helpless, she would be gradually sucked into the overpowering turbulence. Dinah, unsuspecting, became interested in the new kind of shells on this new part of the ocean floor. Garrick unhooked his overloaded weight belt, and then quickly, before she knew what he was doing, he put the extra belt around her and wired it to her. I swam down looking around. Then I saw them and was about to swim to them. Had Garrick gone mad? I could see him rip off her mask and pull out her mouthpiece. I lunged to help Dinah. But Garrick saw me coming and met me with a drawn knife. Now it was a fight not only for Dinah's life, but for my own as well. himself had been sucked into the deadly current but this time exhausted by his battle with me he couldn't overcome its murderous force he was caught hopelessly in his own death trap